Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. I'm uh, just sort of document this while I'm going. I'm sort of halfway through um, and into my second evening of <laughs> completely redoing my uh, Star Wars The Black Series collection. Um, I sort of drew up a bit of a plan of my two shelving units. These are just Billy bookshelves from Ikea. I've replaced all the shelves with glass, added some extras. Those two middle shelves aren't actually they're part of the structural integrity of the cabinet so um of the thing so you can't actually swap them out i'm sure there is a way i'm not going to worry about it because there are they're fine um but yeah i wanted to run through that so i'm basically going in chronological order and uh i've worked out a little bit of a plan how i'm going to do this so it's taking me a little while to sort of remove all the figures they're all sort of um because the way I stand them up, I use blue tack for a lot of them, so it means removing all the blue tack from each shelf as some of them sticks to the figure, some of them uh, sticks to the shelf like so. So I'm just sort of removing that as I go and literally replacing every single figure back on the shelf. So I'm having a bit of fun with it, to be honest. Um, I find it therapeutic, <laughs> just to a degree. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming along. Still have figures all over the chair, all over the floor, figures and stuff everywhere. I'm just watching some YouTube videos as I do it. So, um, yeah, we'll check back shortly and I'll see how it's all going. <laughs> and you know what? It's always fun trying to stand up every single one of these so these ones are moving from this shelf to this shelf <sighs> i got like 22 troopers here but it's all good it's good let's do it all right i am done this took me like a good four hours i reckon <laughs> literally wiping down all the dust and stuff i don't get a lot of dust in here luckily but um yeah, it was nice to sort of give the shelves a clean and uh, I'm actually really, really happy with how this has turned out now that I've got it all in chronological order. Uh, feels really good. I'm really, really happy with it. So I'm actually going to go through this. Um, but firstly, I do have a couple of videos planned for later this week. I know it's been a little bit quiet on my channel for the last week, but uh, I did get the uh, Cloud City Carbon Freeze Chamber uh, last week. And I do have the another one coming, so I'm going to have a complete setup for that. And I will do a bit of a video review and a bit of a diorama at that. And then try and find somewhere in here to put it. <laughs> that's that's a, it's a good job for another time. All right, so let's take a look at uh, chronological Star Wars Black series. So we go Phantom Menace, which... Uh, you know, I could certainly use some more. The battle droids don't like to stand up very well, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah he's fallen again. So they call on clankers. Uh, so yeah, attack of the clones. And then we got a sort of bunch of clones back there. Django Fett. And starts getting into a bit of a uh, clone wars. We've got the uh, Tartakovsky Kenobi up there as well. Cad Bane. So we start to cross over here into clone wars. The Camino boys at the back there, and uh, the Mandalorians. Some more clones. We've got Rex. Got a nice little spot there for uh, Echo and Echo and Hawk when they come out next month here. The Jedi, the General Grievous clones. Looking forward to adding some more of those when they come out in the archive line. So then sort of cross over here into a modest little Bad Batch shelf. You know, it's still very early days, but we've got more coming. So I'm excited about that too. Looking forward to finishing the squad. Uh, looks like we're going to get a Rex with the uh, Poncho from the recent episode as well. So that'll be cool. Uh, we sort of blend over into Jedi Fallen Order, which, you know, we're starting to fill out with some, with some troops and some characters. Um, which is cool. Hopefully, I'd love to see some more characters, some of the more of the main crew. Um, but yeah, I've got three cows, <laughs> a bunch of a uh, bunch of those troops. I chucked a couple of the stormtroopers in here. 
with the flame trooper and the uh, that scout. Can't think of what his name is, but uh, anyway, then we go on to solo. So this shelf actually hasn't changed. This was the only one I didn't pull all the figures off and wipe over just because it, it was so easy just to slot it in there. Um, but yeah, actually, it's nice because it was sort of down there in the corner. It's nice to sort of have this up on display and I'll be able to look at it at eye level again for, for the first time in a while. So that was the other really good thing I've enjoyed about doing this, rejigging this display is um, being able to physically like pick up most of the figures, like save that shelf. It's nice to actually touch every single figure again and sort of have a quick look at it before I um, set them up. So we're getting into Rebels here. Got two different Sabines. I've got my custom uh, Blind Kanan back there. Thrawn, I need to, I'm gonna rejig this sort of Rogue One sort of area a little bit too. Um, just wanna sort of spread them a little bit nicer. This is a nice big spot there. I might get rid of that rock that uh, Edu Jin is on just uh, create a little bit more space so it's not so cluttered with uh, troopers in the middle and I can make the Rebels crew a little bit more uh, center focused on the shelf because at the moment they, they sort of sitting back here they kind of look like they're sitting behind uh, Vader and these death troopers and stuff so I'd like to get them in the forefront a little bit more of that shelf so moving across we've got uh, we've got a new hope now uh, this one was was tricky, um, just because I've got the land speeder in there as well. So it's kind of squashed in there. This trooper's falling down already. Um, there's always figures falling down in, in these shelves, even though I use blue tack to hold them up. It's not always a fail safe. But uh, the Jewback, that's my uh, custom Luke Skywalker. It looks better. and. Uh, yeah, a lot of people weren't really pleased with the uh, announcement of the Leia archive line, but looking at this, I think it's going to be a very nice upgrade. <laughs> Obi-Wan and Vader dueling, Tarkin at the front, just sort of squeezing in. It's because I've had designated shelves for the Empire, so it's nice to sort of, and first order, so what you'll see is I've actually been able to pull apart some troopers and drop them into each sort of film section and stuff, so to sort of spread them out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's really taken the uh, film by film thing really nicely. I was able to free up those those shelves I had dedicated to Imperial troops and soldiers and the armies. And same with the First Order. I've got a lot of First Order stormtroopers and, and troop builders. So it's nice to sort of split them along the, along the movies. So down here we've got the Bounty Hunters from Empire Strikes Back. Um... I've got a Hoth over here. I really wanted to switch them around, but because this shelf here is black, which I did paint for the throne room down there at one point, um, I decided Hoth would look better on white on the white shelf and this were on black. So I just wanted to keep that sort of white for the for the Hoth theme. But um, so we've got our heroes and our Minoc <laughs> here. And that's a sort of custom look I've done a video on. Another one back there, which I did a recent video on as well. I need to get like a, I need to build like a um, TV antenna, a Bespin TV antenna, so Luke can hang off that. So yeah, my Hoth shelf, this was all down the bottom and it was seriously, I need the good guys. So it's nice to sort of get the troops um, in here as well with Veers and Piet, some at, -AT drivers. And uh, fill out that sort of hoth scene a little bit more. It's I'm a lot happier with that now. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the Han on the Tauntaun um, just because of the size of the, the spacing in the shelf there. But it's uh, nice to have the Tauntaun still sort of front and center because it's a it's a great piece. So coming down, we're obviously going into Return of the Jedi. So a fair bit of space here in uh, Jabba's palace sort of stuff. Got the sort of first half of the movie, I'm looking forward to uh, Bib Fortuna. He's coming out. A couple of Gamorians and the Harney Carbonite there. Boba Fett on a stand. It's such a great figure. Mr. Salacious Crumb. And yeah, we've got. We still do have the big four heroes. Would like to get another Chewbacca for this scene as well and have him sort of cuffed up. 
um, behind Boosh. Uh, Boosh, as a matter of fact, I did customize. I cut down the legs and uh, added the thigh joint. So that's why she's quite a lot smaller than uh, Luke and Lando now. So she's much more to scale. So hopefully uh, Hasbro can get on that because that's just a, a great figure. The head sculpt not so great underneath, but uh, yeah, really good. Continuing to Return of the Jedi, we start getting into the sort of Battle of Endor. The three heroes, a couple of droids, Ewok, Yoda, Akbar, uh, a custom Carol Danvers <laughs> head on a rebel pilot, but she's at the back there, so that's cool. Got uh, this Empire, Imperial, Emperor. I got the right word eventually. Uh, up here with the uh, final jewel. That's better. A couple of Vaders. Biker Scouts, a couple of Stormies back there. And as I come down and sit on the floor and get myself comfortable, uh, we're into the Mandalorian now. So, oh uh, yeah, this shelf is filling up really, really quickly. And uh, we've had a couple of casualties there. <laughs> the uh, incinerator trooper there. And uh, a stormtrooper, but I'll, I'll fix them up afterwards. So yeah, looking, loving that. We've got different versions of Mando. I do need to get another version of this one because I did take off the Shore Trooper armor and put the uh, Beskar pauldron on. Um, I just like the look of that a little bit better. As well, I flipped a pauldron around off another spare Mando and put on that one. So it's pre um, Mudhorn Signet, uh, standard Mudhorn Signet and helmetless. So. Waiting for those season two upgrades. You know, Hasbro's gonna do it. So yeah, really, really loving this. And I'm loving that we're getting more and more characters as time goes on. So here we are getting into the sequel trilogy. We've got The Force Awakens now with its own designated shelf. I did have sort of all the heroes and all good guys on one shelf and uh, then all the villains on another bit of a uh, been able to sort of condense that down and put a bunch of troopers from each. You know, we've got the flame troopers, which is sort of specific to um, TFA, as well as the riot trooper there. We had a couple of snow troopers back there, as you saw on Star Killer Base, Phasma, and of course the jewel at the end. Finn there with his helmet. I know my uh, camera's a little blurry. I noticed there's a little bit of uh, moisture on the lens, um, so it's not a big deal. I'll just uh, put it in a nice dry room, and uh, we'll be, uh, it'll be fine next time. So, all right, we've got the last Jedi. So we've got Kylo Ren leading his troops into Crate. We've got Phasma. I did actually switch the capes on Phasma, so this one has the sort of static cape, whereas this one has the fabric cape. I wanted the fabric cape on the sort of standard Phasma. I thought it looked a lot better. Got some more troops. We've got another Kylo, we've got Snoke. DJ. And sort of our resistance heroes. Luke. Got some Porgs. Little porgy boys down the front. And we go on to my favorite scene. And uh, next time I go to Ikea, you can get glass black glass shelves. So I reckon I'm going to get one of those for this. I think that'll look really, really nice. Uh, here's my extra Snoke. A uh, friend of the channel, Darth Muzza, hooked me up a couple of weeks ago, so I'm, uh, maybe tomorrow I might cut him up, because <laughs> the whole plan is to have him, like, in parts on there, just watching, not watching, no longer watching the battle, but, uh, having these guys fight the battle around Snoke's corpse. <laughs> so I love that. Uh, we'll go straight down to Rise of Skywalker here, and, uh, you know, we've been complaining about not having enough figures from Rise of Skywalker, but I've got a full shelf. Um, and I know that's kind of cheating because I have 20, 20 odd Sith troopers here. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy. Added some Stormtroopers and um, some of the Galaxy's Edge figures like Commander Pyre, Captain Cardinal, and the two Mountain Troopers are in there as well. 
and uh, that sort of snow trooper there that was a, I believe it was a Target exclusive back in 2019, that sort of gets overlooked as well as a Rise of Skywalker specific figure, I know it's sort of clutching, but yeah, could definitely do with some more main characters, but uh, cause the uh, the figures they did put out were quite nice, that 3PO was great, Ray was great, Janna was actually a really good figure despite the fact it wasn't a super popular one, uh, Zori Bliss is a great figure, Kylo, one Knight of Ren, <laughs> need more of them. Um, and uh, Dark Side Ray being the most recent, which is just fantastic, and that's my custom, custom Palpatine. And then last but not least is my sort of EU Legends Comics uh, gaming greats, uh, the gaming greats figures that don't fit into. So, so like I've got the other two from uh, Jedi Fallen Order, so I left them up there with that sort of collection, and this is the rest. Um, the White Fett, we've got Hondo and Naka back there, DJ Rex, Jackson, Maul, the three figures from Dr. Afra. Shadow Troopers down there. So yeah, that's that's pretty much where it's at, guys. Um, it's been really fun actually putting this back together. It's been uh, been looking forward to doing this for a little while. And uh, yeah, sort of got, got inspired um, and uh, yeah, decided to go for it. And uh, yeah, like I said, four, four plus hours later, <laughs> over a space of a couple of nights. Um, yeah, it's gonna be nice just coming in here and chilling out and playing with some toys for a while. Give me a chance to sort of look over the collection again. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe. Um, trying, I do keep up to date with my Black Series collection and my three and three quarter inch, which uh, I've got some cool showcases to do from that collection soon. I did do a little bit of a uh, reshuffle last week where I uh, split my Revenge of the Sith shelf into two so I could fit the two uh, Jedi fighters in there. So I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Eventually I'd love to get glass shelving for all of these too, but um, I might actually look at doing a whole different unit at some point. So yeah, that's that's about it from me. I hope, you, I hope you've uh, all been well. And yeah, like I said, give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and uh, even consider becoming a member of the channel. It costs you about 70 cents a week or something like that. It's, it's silly. And uh, yeah, check out the perks that I've got that I've got there for, for, for joining as a member. So you can find that on the front page of my channel. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments below. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you. Always.